in the small village of Osu, nestled in the heart of the dense tropical forest, women were the backbone of the community. They worked tirelessly from dawn till dusk, tending to their farms, cooking meals, raising children, and managing their household. Despite their hard work and dedication, the men of Osu showed little appreciation for their efforts. Amaka, what is the meaning of this now? This fufu looks strong. Go and pound it again, add water, mix it very well. My husband, it is not strong. You can touch it. I'm not touching anything. Leave my sight now. Go and pound that fufu again. Pound it very well. Whenever a woman complained of being tired or sought help with her chores, her husband would scold her, telling her that she was overreacting and that pregnancy was easy. He would belittle her struggles and mock her for being weak. Now, Bele, you carry you. No be stone. I no just understand. Since morning to cook small soup, you just they do peke, peke, peke. This woman, don't damn you. The men of Osu were also known to be serial cheats, often engaging in extramarital affairs and fathering children outside of their marriages. They would journey to neighboring villages and spend time with other ladies, promising forever love and lying against their innocent wives. Their eating, gossiping, and drinking habits were legendary, and they would often gather to share stories about their conquests and drink away their troubles. My brothers, I don't know why these women are always acting as if pregnancy is one serious thing. Just because my wife is pregnant, I asked her to satisfy me my own rights. As a husband, she refused. I was begging this woman last night. I had to even beat her up, eh? Very stupid woman. Even my own wife for ordinary soup that will just take few minutes. She spent over one hour preparing soup. I was so angry and I went to bed without eating. My brother, I will have to marry another wife. Oh. My wife no longer satisfies me. She's always acting very weak. If I tell her do this, she's tired. Can you imagine? She even asked me, me obey Funa, to fetch water for her. But I refused though. I left her there. She was crying. And I came to meet you people. I don't know why these women are behaving like this. Our pregnancy is not hard though. It is very easy. Something I can carry and jump and go to the farm. They are just pretending. See, I will ask my wife to pound fufu for me this night because I know she's pretending. The women of Usu, on the other hand, were expected to remain humble and submissive, never daring to challenge their husband's authority. Madam, wake up. Stand up and go to the stream. Go and fetch water. You are not the first pregnant woman in Osu. I don't know why you're sitting down. Stand up. Move your body. Ada, stand up. When my mother was pregnant, I heard she used to trek from here to Bekora village. I don't know why you women of these days are so lazy. Stand up before I hit this drum on your head. Madam, I am tired of your nonsense. You will have to go to your mother's place. Stay there. And when you deliver, you return. Because right now, you don't have any use. You are so weak. You can't even satisfy me at night. You can't cook anymore. You are so slow. So go to your mother's village. When you deliver, come back. Now get up. But some of the women complained. My husband, please don't send me away. Let me stay with you and deliver. Let my mother come here instead. Please, I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, please. No way. Go away. You irritate me. I don't want to see you. Just go to your mother's place. Maybe when you deliver, you can come back. But for now, you are so irritating. But the girls of Osu were not pleased with the way the men treated their wives. They saw the hardships and struggles of the women and decided to intervene. After the powerful thunder and lightning, a strange phenomenon began to occur in the village. Whenever a man lays with a woman, he would become pregnant and his stomach would swell just like a pregnant woman. The men of Osu were so shocked and confused Unable to understand what was happening to them, they tried to hide their condition from their wives and children, but it soon became apparent. My brother, I don't understand what is happening. My body has been acting funny ever since I slept with Tego. That girl is a witch. My guy, even me, oh, these days I feel sleepy, I feel weak. I don't even know how to explain this feeling safe. I just know I am not feeling well. I strongly believe our women are beginning to save us poison. 
because I don't understand. Why is this sickness around our stomach? Why? This is not nice. We have to consult the ghost. As the days passed, the men of Fusu became increasingly uncomfortable. They experienced morning sickness, mood swings and cravings, just like women. Their swollen stomachs made it difficult for them to move around and they were unable to engage in their usual activities. They were forced to stay at home and rely on their wives for care and support. The men would often complain to their wives who would simply laugh and say, Welcome to the club. The women of Usu were so happy. They saw the suffering of their husbands as a sign of divine justice and a reminder that their struggles were not going unnoticed by the gods. Amadi, uh, stand up. Let us give you satisfaction. We need to give you satisfaction right now. Sure you want satisfaction now. We are ready. Amadi, uh, stand up. Oh. Yes, yeah, so Amadi, uh, come and satisfy us. You married both of us now. Amadi, uh, stand up and satisfy your two beautiful wives. We are ready. Amadi, uh, satisfy us today. Ah, Ada, I can't take it anymore. This baby is kicking me like a football player. Please help me. Well, you should have thought of that before you decided to cheat on me with that young girl from Bekwara village. Shiji, okay. You look like a ripe mango ready to bust. This is just the beginning. You haven't seen anything yet. This is your reward for all the evil you have done to me. My wife, please, help me. And I wonder, where would the baby come out from? What is my business? Am I the one who impregnated you? Nonsense. Hey, so this is how women feel? This is what they pass through? Hey, I don't think I can survive this all. My brothers, I am going to apologize to my wife today. At least let me receive her forgiveness before I join my ancestors, because I don't think I will ever survive this. The men would gather daily, crying, discussing, and looking for solution. Only very few men in the village were not affected, and those were the virgins. My dear younger brother, I really thank the gods for your life, oh. See the condition I'm in. You have escaped this just because you are a virgin. Keep being a pure man. Avoid women, no. Avoid women, no. Ah, this thing is not easy at all. The pregnant husbands of Osu all gathered. They lined up crying and begging their wives for forgiveness. They also continued appeasing the girls and apologizing. Eventually, their wives were able to forgive them. The women realized that their men had learned a valuable lesson and were willing to treat them with the respect and kindness they deserved. The gods of Osu, seeing the change in the men's behavior, lifted the curse and restored balance to the village. The gods lifted the pregnancies and from that day forward, the men of Usu treated their wives with utmost respect and kindness. They helped with household chores and child care, and they never again took their wives for granted. The women of Usu continued to work hard, but now they did so with the support and appreciation of their husbands. The village prospered, and the men and women lived in harmony, grateful for the lesson they learned and the blessings they received. The story serves as a reminder to always treat others with kindness and respect. It also highlights the strength and resilience of women and the importance of gender equality in all aspects of life. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comment section. See you.